All right, Coach. Last night you couldn't talk about your transfer. Tonight yeah. you can talk about him. So tell us. Yeah, a little I got bit. two good transfers in so far. Uh, Jack Clark recently uh, from NC State, six eight, about 200, 205 pound uh, forward force. Think he'll add some three point shooting, certainly some athleticism and experience. He's an older guy that uh, you know has played a lot of college basketball, having graduated from LaSalle and then uh, played one year at NC State. So really excited about adding him, kind of in the Hunter Tyson mold, a, a big wing. Uh, forward that can play a couple positions, and then uh, Jake Heidbreder is a uh, transfer from Air Force, who was a good player over there, scored about 14 points a game, and uh, good size, about 6'4", really shoots the ball well, handles it some, and uh, again, a, a guy who will be a junior, so uh, an experienced older player, which will be good for our team. You've been playing the transfer recruiting game for a while. How is that different, and what have you learned over the years that, that you're doing maybe Yeah, you know what, now? I think we've done a good job over the years is I think we really find uh, transfers that, that fit what we need. Um, you know, and there are some years we need a couple. Some years, like last year, we only needed one. So it's a little different with us because you never ma – managing your roster right now is very challenging. Um, because of the portal and the immediate eligibility, more kids are likely to leave. Um, so your needs kind of change. Um, I just think we've done a pretty good job of, of identifying kids that fit our needs that year, and then they usually do pretty well. Um, we've had a lot of guys, you know, dating back all the way to Marquise Reed and Elijah Thomas, Shelton Mitchell, that crew that, that have all been able to play and, and contribute to Mark Donnell and his one year, David Scarra. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, this year we needed a couple, just losing uh, Revan Galloway and Hunter Tyson, so we thought we needed at least two. We'll probably add at least one more, if not two. How do you mix in the transfers that come in, obviously with a lot of experience, with your, your incoming freshman? Yeah, uh, excited about it. We have one incoming freshman, Asa Toms, who's, uh, you know, a, another wing that, that is very skilled, shoots the ball exceptionally well, has good size at 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, and so, you know, it's always a, a blend, right? I, I like that blend of some high school guys that have been through your, through the wars are going to go through the wars with you for a while. Last year's team, I thought, was a lot of homegrown talent, guys that have been with us a long time. Obviously, we're trying to replicate that with really our sophomores, uh, next year's sophomores. You know, Dylan uh, Hunter, I think, is going to be a good player and got some experience. Chauncey Wiggins and then R.J. Godfrey, those are three guys that we hope, you know, stick with it here for a while. Their roles will grow this year as sophomores. I think they'll, they'll be uh, very important pieces to our team and guys that, that uh, will contribute very well. You and Dabo have been doing this together for 13 years, yeah. I think. Talk about the, how, you know, what's yeah. it like to get on the road with this guy every spring? Yeah, Dabo and I really enjoy it. You know, we don't get to spend as much time as, as we would like during, the, during our seasons. You know, they overlap a little bit and then feels like one of us is recruiting when the other guy you know maybe is is playing and so that happens so this these events are really good because we get to spend you know several hours together and you know we banner back and forth pretty good up there on stage we, we both pick at each other a little bit and have try to make it fun and interactive and you know tell a few jokes with one another and just have a good experience that way 